Welcome to part 4 of this series, trying to locate the sons of Noah and where they really went to. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the rivers of Mesopotamia, ancient Mesopotamia, the river Tigris and the river Euphrates. Now we've already mentioned the river Tigris in the previous videos, where we were speaking about this river Tigray in northern Ethiopia. And just in case you haven't seen those videos, I just want to show you quickly that we saw this um, Tigray in Abyssinia region, T-I-G-R. And wondering that that could be connected to the river Tigris. And if we look at uh, the alternate forms for Tigris, we see the old Persian Tigra. So that would give us an option, a potential option for the river Tigris being in this region. But now we need to think about the river Euphrates. So let's look to see what the Bible says about uh, the river Euphrates. Now I've got this a few verses from Revelation. It says, The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river, the river Euphrates and its water was dried up, so that the way would be prepared for the kings from the east. And there's another one here. One saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great river, Euphrates. So it seems like there's a... Um, before it says the word Euphrates, you've kind of got this precursor where it says the great river. And this one says it better. Let's look at this one. Genesis 15:18. On that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, Okay, now Abram, this was his name, and this is the name of Abraham before he, um, his name was changed. So his name was, he was known as Abram, and then his name was changed to Abraham. Saying, to your descendants I have given this land, from the river of Egypt, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. So you see how it gives it that precursor, it says, the great river. Now the interesting thing is that, I kind of missed this. I was looking at this map so many times and I kind of missed this. Well, I did miss it. But I, I don't really like using this word, but this is the word that we're given. It says here, um, Negro land. And you see this river going across the Sahara. This long river. Now, this is obviously probably under the sand now, but look here, it says the Great River. Okay? So why did the cartographer put on this map the Great River for this long river going across the Sahara Desert. This is this is fascinating because we just looked at those verses from the Revelation, uh, the book of Revelation and from Genesis where the Euphrates has this precursor where it says the great river. And uh, I think what we need to do is just to make, just to try to find something else to try to support it and see what else we can find in this area. Let's look at um, one of the main tributaries and that's the Kaaba River. This is one of the main um, tributaries. And we do have a few options for this. If we look, we have um, Kabod, Nigeria, Adamawa region. Okay, let's have, a look. let's have a look where that is. Okay, it's this region here. So there's a Kabod in this region of um, Adamawa. And there's also um, a Kaboda in Nigeria as well. But now there is a few other ways of, um, there's a few other alternatives that we can look at because it's also known as um, Kaboda and um, Aboras. Now if we search that, we do have a few options. We have Abod, but again in Nigeria, but this time connected to the Benue. And this is a river, so that's obviously important. It needs to be a river because we're speaking about a, a tributary. So here's the Benue, also in Nigeria. But can you see how it follows along here and actually reaches towards that area we've already mentioned. Remember we spoke about um, um, Adamawa, and that was connected to the to the Kabo, which is a closer closer rendition to this uh, Kabo. So that does seem to be um, a few options here for this Benue going into this region of Adamawa. So that's probably the, the, um, the most interesting so far, but there's another variation, and that's going to be, to spell it with an O, because you've got um, Kaboda or Kaboras, and if you spell it with an O, you get many different options, but still in Nigeria, but you have uh, a few options, but again, you have Abord in Benue, Nigeria again. 
So this looks like the most um, interesting option to be investigating is this um, Nigeria and the Bennu, this river, and these states here, um, Adamawa, and going into um, Borno. And I think soon we're going to be doing videos which might actually show why this could be quite interesting. And um, I think the more the more we study and the more we go on with the series, the river Euphrates might start making more sense and becoming clearer. But I also just want to show you before we finish this a very very fascinating video by Bright Insight. He speaks about lost 500 year maps and rivers in the middle of the Sahara Desert. If you see on here, so it's kind of what we're speaking about. But there's so many fascinating things in this video. I really recommend you watching it. And he also speaks about Lake Chad, how Lake Chad was actually much larger than it is today. And um, I won't spoil it, but definitely, definitely, I'd recommend watching this video. It speaks very interesting things. It, also could, it could be important for the work that we're looking at. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I think we'll just before we finish, we'll just sum up with this verse from Genesis. Um, remember it says that uh, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. To your descendants I've given this land from the river of Egypt as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Now if we look on the map and we consider that maybe the, the great river of Egypt, well not the great river, just is the river of Egypt, could be um, the Nile. So maybe saying from the Nile River to the great river Euphrates for the land of Abraham, could he be speaking about uh, the great river of Egypt to the river Euphrates? So the land of Abraham would be the land from the great river Euphrates to the river of Egypt. So that's the series, that's the work we're looking at. And in the next video we're going to be focusing on the land of Afaxad. Uh, where's the land of Afaxad? And that's important because Abraham comes from the land of Afaxad. So until that video, take care and we'll see you in the next one.